Lungworm is a disease that can kill dogs. It is transmitted through snails and slugs, and it's spreading across the UK at a worrying pace. Bayer Animal Health is working with the veterinary profession to try to raise awareness of lungworm and its devastating effects, as Carolyn Sim reports. Nose to the ground and running around. It's part of a happy and healthy life for a dog. But not everything they sniff out is safe. A parasite of dogs known as lungworm, which is carried by slugs and snails, is on the rise. And it can be deadly. The first case of lungworm was discovered in the 70s. Initially, it was seen in the southwest of England and South Wales. But in recent years, it's been spreading rapidly, with new cases being reported right across the UK. This is a, a, a wound that can affect the, the lungs of dogs and the heart as well. And uh, it can cause respiratory disease. But what makes it quite difficult to deal with and quite dangerous is it can also interfere with blood clotting and then the disease can present in a range of different ways and it can be quite difficult to recognise. That was the tragic reality for Natasha Ravenscroft's dog, Baxter. He was only one year old when he collapsed suddenly. 24 hours later, his health had completely deteriorated. And as soon as I saw him, I just... I knew that I, I just couldn't see him in so much pain. He was a completely different dog. He was just a terrible way of you know for him to 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 die and suffer and I just hate anyone to to go through the same and you f you feel helpless that you, and if I'd have known about it gosh I, I could turn the, the clock back I'd, I'd do anything to be able to just give him you know that one treatment to if I'd have known to stop it Natasha is now fronting a new campaign run by the pharmaceutical company Bayer to raise awareness of lungworm. It's very sad that the dogs are still dying of lungworm from a disease which is completely preventable. We have been working together with vets for some years to raise awareness of this parasite. On our website, lungworm.co.uk, owners can find information about cause, symptoms, prevention tips. And also there is a lungworm map where they can see uh, if there are reported cases in the local area where they live. We encourage vets to report us new cases so we can keep our lungworm map up to date. We have achieved a lot already uh, because we have a high awareness, but we need to continue to work together with vets and pet owners you know, to convert this awareness into action, and that's our common goal. Vet practices across the country are welcoming the campaign. They're now offering advice on treatments which not only kill the parasite, but prevent it too. I also try to encourage vets to be aware of the disease uh, locally. And there are more and more tests and ways, things that tools they can use to establish what the local risks are. And then they can provide very good advice that's tailored to the specific uh, town or location that you're in. There is, however, still work to be done. Many pet owners still don't realise that not all worming products can prevent lungworm. It was something that I wasn't aware of until we knew of somebody who suffered the consequences of it. So, um, and, and I didn't realise that it was from slugs and snails. I do have to look into it. I don't have much knowledge on it at the moment, um, but it's a bit of research I do need to follow up on, that's for sure. It's highly unlikely that lungworm will ever be eradicated, but if dog owners work together with vets and companies like Bayer, the risks could be greatly reduced. The right preventative medicines can be given, and more dogs like Mia could be saved. <laughs>